everyone, it's Grania from Solid Solutions here again. So this is going to be one of our What's New videos. So what I'm going to discuss in this What's New video is weldments and sheet metal and what's new in both of those features. So in weldments this year we've enhanced group visualisation. We have an updated corner treatment dialog which allows you to change your trim order much more easily than previous versions. We also have enhanced gusset creation, so you can now create gussets across a gap. You can now create them from a plate to a square member with round corners, to circular member to circular member, or from circular member to square member. You can also add in an internal en end cap. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of these things right now in SolidWorks. Okay, so we just have a regular structure here for sheet metal, or sorry, for weldments. And what we're going to do is show you exactly what I was just talking about there. So first off, let's go into our structural member here. You notice when I select a group, the group highlights whatever group you're in. So the yellow group is the one that's active and the grey ones are the ones that are not active. If we go down here to group 5, I just want to show you the new corner treatment. If I now click on our corner here, we can now define our trim order much more simply by just typing in the order of the trim. Once you type it in it will take into account whatever you just inputted and it will apply the trim order then. So that's our first two steps. We have our structural member visualization and we also have our trim order. Next thing is gussets. So if we have a look over here at our part we can see there's a gap between these two parts. So I want to put a gusset across them and previously this used to be difficult. Now it's just very simple. I can add in my two faces and the gusset will go across no problem. So that's one of our gussets. Next we can actually go ahead and put a gusset between two circular members. Easy stuff. You can also put a, a gusset between a sheet metal feature and a structural member. So between this square pl flat plate here and this structural member with rounded corners, we can put a gusset in there, no problem. We can also add in a gusset between a circular member and a square member. And a square me member with round corners. Once I click the two of them, you do have to input one more additional bit of information. You need to define the gusset direction. This can be defined by just selecting an edge, very similar to the way you define a direction in a linear pattern. So you can see my arrow is going directly upwards. If I want my gusset to go downwards, I can sim simply click my pink arrow, or on the left hand side in our property manager, we can just reverse the gusset direction. Okay, so we just saw our new gussets. So we have gussets across the gap, we have gussets between circular members, we have gussets between a circular member and a square member, and we also have a gusset between a plate and a structural member. Next thing we're going to have a look at is an internal end cap. So when we go to end cap, we now have an additional option to go internal. So let's apply an internal end cap on this end face here. We can now define our thickness, of course. We can define how far inset it is. So we can say it's 10 mil there. We can also apply corner treatments to it. So we can apply a fillet or anything that you would regularly use. We, of course, can also define our offset value. So we can put it to maybe one mil rather than three. So once we have that done, let's have a look at a section view of our internal end cap. So we can see when we do a section view that our end cap is actually built normal too. So this is to avoid any complicated manufacturing processes that may come about from pushing in an end cap there. The next thing on our list to have a look at is well beads and what, how they've changed this year. So let's go up to our well bead feature. We can now do well beads across multiple bodies. So like over here between our gusset and our circular member, 
we can even include the two circular members. We can also do a weld pact across a plate and a face and that will actually bring up the three separate welds all at once. As well as that we can also add in weld pads on a single body. So if I go over here to our part here we can throw in a weld pad there. We can also do it on an edge here as if we want to fold in our part. So those are all our weld pads and they are all in our weld folder right now. We can now have an option in the weld folder to suspend automatic rebuild. So this can save you time when you're doing up an assembly or anything that has lots of welds. If you suspend the automatic rebuild, it won't rebuild and it will just make everything go a little bit faster. There's one other thing in our cut list. Our cut list items l regularly look like this unless you rename them. However, now in 2015, we can go over to our document properties and we can even have a look and change our cut list properties to automatically rename the cut list with the description of the property value. When I click that, our cut list automatically updates and gives us more knowledgeable text in our cut list. I just want to show you one more thing. So previously we knew that when we selected anything we could add them to our favourites. However, we can now create folders within our favourites. So let's add these two gussets here to favourites. And of course it will populate in the top in our favourites bar. However, they're just there as single components. We can now add a subfolder to our favourites. And of course we can drag and drop things in. So that's everything on our weldments this year in 2015. Next let's have a look at sheet metal. So sheet metal you brought in parallel lofted bends la last year and now we can do non-parallel so you can have planes that are not parallel to each other. They also can show a gusset when flattened. You can show the centre point of the gusset and the full profile. Now in 2015 we also have a sketch bend preview. So when you go to do a sketch bend, you can actually see exactly how it's going to turn up. Also, we have pen fasteners now within the whole wizard. And when you mirror a part to do a right hand or left hand part, you can now bring across the sheet metal information. Let's go over into SolidWorks and have a look at that. Okay, so here we have two sketches clearly not parallel to each other. So if we go into our sheet metal and try to do a lofted bend, last year it wouldn't allow us to do this. This year you have all the functionalities within a sheet metal loft. Such as core tolerance, number of bends, segment length, segment angle, all that kind of stuff. All within non-parallel lofts. It's very useful for anyone doing hoppers or anything like that. Luckily we already have a completed model with more gussets and things added in. So we have our gussets here. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2015, we can actually include the gussets into a flat pattern. So if we go into our document properties, down to our sheet metal options, we can now show sheet metal gusset profiles when flattened and show sheet metal gusset centers when flattened. So now when I flatten my part, you can see my profile and my center marks. Not only that, but when we do a sketch bend, we can now see a preview. So if we go into sketch bend here, select our face to be fixed, we can see an automatic preview. Let's go down to 65 and reverse it. There you go, there's your automatic preview. We can leave it, create the bend. Next thing we want to have a look at is our PEM fasteners. So these holes here are actually made of PEM fastener features. So it's just a regular hole wizard feature. However, we now have the PEM standard involved with metric and inches. So 
it's just another option you can click rather than having to go trail the internet to find the options that you need. Now when we go to insert a mirrored part, we can have options for sheet metal information and unlocked properties. That's also new in 2015. So that's everything within sheet metal and weldments in 2015. If you have any queries or questions about our SOLIDWORKS or about our company, you can contact 01 297 4440. You can also get in touch with us by emailing info at solidsolutions.ie or following any of our social medias below. So we're also on LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. Thanks for listening.